This video looks at Yoko Ono's all Newaza win at the Asian Judo Championships. So yesterday, all their troubles were on the tatami when it came to Yoko Ono's opponents. So my feeling with Yoko Ono is she's kind of maybe two years past her judo peak when it comes to Tachiwaza, but her Newaza's still pretty strong and this is still my favorite turnover in judo and she had two victories like this in the early round and then a submission finish in the final so the 70 kilo class probably not one of the higher level classes for women's judo in asia it's most asian women tend to be a little bit smaller i think the 48 to 63 kilo categories had stronger level of competition. So Ono is basically ranked number three in Japan currently. They're sending Shiho Tanaka and Saki Nizue to represent them in the World Championships. To represent Japan at the World Championships. Now here we see once again Ono with the same turnover. She reaches between the legs, grabs the opponent's lapel, blocks the shoulder and uses the other leg to flip them over and move into Osai Komi. The final was against an Uzbekistan girl, so I've noticed the Kazakhstan crowd tends to cheer for the Uzbekistanis if they don't have a Kazakh in the contest. So this Uzbekistani girl, her specialty seemed to be this unusual version of Ukiwaza, kind of like a cross between Tayo Toshi and Ukiwaza. I assume she wanted to get in close and do some more wrestling-like takedowns to score against Ono, but Ono was able to keep her at bay this whole match. Now, this case we had an Ude Garami, and a few people might be wondering why Mate is called. So generally the refs are told to call Mate whenever the arm is wrapped in Ude Garami from a standing position, as it can be a little bit risky. Now, the question I have for you guys is, why was there no score for this Uchimata here? To me, it's clearly a scoring throw. It's possible that the ref had called Mate prior to the throw actually reaching the mat. But the Uzbekistani girl ended up being penalized for holding Ono's sleeve, holding one sleeve with both arms and just offering no attacks. You can't hold a sleeve with both arms that you're expected to start attacking from it, not just stall out the position. So you can see the Uzbekistani girl trying to close the distance and get some chest to chest so she can use some upper body wrestling type throws. Ono was able to keep her at bay. We will see in a moment at one point in the match where they do go chest to chest and they ended up smashing faces together. The Uzbekistani girl had her face smashed into the mat there. Not sure why Ono held her hands up there like she was in the presence of a bank robber. Here's the face collision. Seemed to be a little bit worse for Ono than the Uzbekistani girl. I guess if you're into, into this like upper body wrestling style, you get used to the face collisions. As we saw with that throw, she had her own face collision with the mat.
here's the finish of the match. So this is over eight minutes into the match. And finally, it comes to a conclusion. I was hoping this one wasn't going to end with Shido's, and it didn't. So we see another of this unusual Ukiwaza attempt. Ono oh passed guard easily, and as the Uzbekistani girl bellied out, Ono oh transitioned to Udegarami. Osodo oh Otoshia then finished with the Udegarami submission. And both girls pretty exhausted after this one. Subscribe for more non-stop Nawaza. There will be more videos coming up today or tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.